In this question, you are being asked to decide what should the closing balance be when all of the errors made in preparing the receivables ledger control account have been corrected. A receivables ledger control account has been provided for you. However, some of the balances included are incorrect. I'm therefore going to prepare a revised receivables ledger control account in order to calculate the correct balance. Looking at the individual amounts, the first item we have is the opening balance. A receivables ledger control account should have a debit balance and so therefore this is a correct item and I can put it straight into my T account. They have also included the credit sales on the debit side. An increase in credit sales would be a debit to my receivables ledger control account and a credit to income. The next item they've included is cash sales. However, cash sales should not be here. This would be a debit to the bank account and then a credit to sales and therefore has no impact on our receivables ledger control account. The final item on the debit side is a contra. Contra entries are there to offset balances between the receivables ledger control account and the payables ledger control account. Therefore, this figure should actually be on the credit side. Our contra entry balance is always to debit the purchase ledger control account and credit the receivables ledger control account. And so I will include it on the credit side. Over on the credit side, I can see we've got cash received from credit customers. This is a correct balance. There would be a credit to my receivables ledger control account and a debit to bank. The next item is interest charged on overdue accounts. This is interest that's charged to the customers. And so it would be an additional amount received from our credit customers. Therefore, it should actually increase our receivables ledger control account. And this amount should be included over on the debit side. And so I will correct this on my revised ledger account. The next item is my irrecoverable debts written off. This would be a debit to the expense account and then a credit to the receivables ledger control account. And so it's correct and I will just update my ledger account. The final item that we've got in this receivables ledger control account is my allowance for receivables. This should not be included in this account. It has its own account, allowance for receivables, where it should be shown on the credit side and so therefore should be removed. With all of the entries now in the correct place, I will then revise my account balance and my balancing figure or my closing balance is now $307,100. Looking at my options available to answer, I can see that the correct answer is my second option.